Good morning from Dandeli. Dandeli is surrounded by forest. 90% of Dandeli is forest and only 10% is where people live, which is so incredible. I have been wanting to come to Dandeli for a very long time and I'm so happy to be exploring it finally. I'm staying in this lovely resort, Sri Yog Resort and it's actually very close to the main town of Dandeli so that way it's very convenient. The owner of this resort, uh, Sri Yog Resort is Sri Shah and he's taking us on a day trip from Dandeli. But before we head out, let me show you around this property. It's a very lovely property and it has a walk-in restaurant. So apparently this is the only restaurant in Dandeli which offers walk-in, most of it is buffet. So if you are just visiting Dandeli and maybe even staying at other places, you can still visit here to the restaurant. So what you see behind me is the main building where the reception is. There are around 30 rooms here, uh, standard, deluxe and cottage rooms. So these are the standard rooms over here in the reception building and uh, we are staying in the cottage room that is the premium one and they, that is really nice because you are surrounded by a lot of plants and, and also you get privacy so it's pretty nice and I would highly recommend staying in the cottage rooms. This resort also hosts uh, weddings so it can accommodate I think 150 to 200 people. It uh, There are some destination weddings that I've heard of that happens here and this a party hall as well it's actually because it's close to the main town you see a lot of people here and uh, you can be rest assured that you'll have a reliable stay here from what i hear we are going to a cave temple a bridge and a waterfalls so that is the agenda for today i have no idea what it's going to be like but i'm really excited for this day so let's go Dandeli is a very fun place. It's not just rafting or uh, jungle safari. There are a lot many things too you can do in Dandeli. Like? You can go for treks. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can go do off-roading. Getting here is not easy. You need a vehicle, 4x4 four four vehicle to get here. And uh, yeah, basically I'm just climbing down the steps to go into the temple, go into the caves. It's just in the jungle. It's so beautiful and so peaceful. So this was a really cool experience. A small cave and uh, there is a naturally formed Shiva. The, there are other uh, gods as well, so people go there for prayer. So this is Shivpura Hanging Bridge. Uh, you know, you do rafting in Kali River, right? So you, it's very, very wild, but here it's so peaceful, so calm. Absolutely beautiful. We are here in the mid noon actually but even now it's it's incredible <laughs> Going from 
claims of the waterfall and I'm so impressed. I was not expecting such a long waterfall here. It's very beautiful. Let's just go towards the waterfall. There are a lot of rocks here, so you need to sometimes climb it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> day trip was something else altogether first of all i had no expectations uh, the cave that we went to the location is basically right inside the forest it's just absolutely stunning uh, the bridge itself is uh, uh, you know it's actually the kali river over there and the kali river is so serene and calm which is not something that you expect out of a river where you can do raft and even the satodi waterfalls oh my god i thought it will be something like a stream or you know something like that but it was not it was a tall waterfall uh, you know there's so many people just enjoying there the force of the water was just so powerful if you are coming to dandeli i would definitely recommend uh, doing these activities because it kind of gives you a different idea of dandeli and also these places not many people go and we had a very nice experience yesterday with the waterfalls and the entire experience the going to the jungle itself so that was something unexpected <laughs> so thank you for taking us there welcome, it was welcome, really welcome. wonderful okay one last thing before i sign off i wanted to mention this because not many people may be aware of this problem so when i was looking for places to stay in tandeli i came across these websites which seem like aggregator websites so they have multiple stays in one website and looks like they are mostly like travel agent websites uh, but these may not be legit why am i saying that is because i met a bunch of people from the uk and they booked it through one of these websites and they when they landed in dandeli and they arrived at the location of the hotel they did not find the hotel <laughs> it did not exist so not only did they lose money but also they did not know what to do when they arrived in dandeli so then they ended up in shriog resort so if you are booking a stay in dandeli i would suggest you to book it directly from the resorts uh, website or from booking.com or make my trip these websites you know are quite popular so that the possibilities of these scams happening are lesser and that brings us to the end of this video Thank you for watching and subscribe for more travel videos like this.